peace be with you. In the second chapter of the Quran, verse 185, God tells us, All you who believe, fasting has been prescribed to you as it has been prescribed to those before you, that you may be careful of your duty to God, that you may increase in taqwa. The purpose of the month of Ramadan and the fasting associated therewith is to help us become the people that God wants us to be. If you have fasted before, then you know that this is true. While we fast, it becomes easier to control our emotions, to control our actions, to control our behavior. This is who we should ultimately become throughout the year. But Ramadan is here to help us, to give, give us a leg up on becoming these people. To this end, I would like to remind myself and everyone that how we speak to each other matters, and God has instructions in regards to that especially in the era of social media where all of us are, so, are on social media and we're talking to each other and people are trying to advocate Islam on social media without behaving as Muslims. We have to change that. To advocate Islam while not talking like a Muslim is like an obese person telling you how to lose weight. It's not how it works. So what does God say on how we are supposed to talk to each other? In the 17th chapter of the Quran, verse 53, God tells us, And say to my servants that they speak that which is best. Surely the devil sows disagreements among them. Surely the devil is an open enemy to man. God also says in the 54th chapter of the Quran, verse 34, Good and evil are not alike. Repel with what is better than look. He between whom and you there was hatred will become as if he was a close friend. Consider when somebody talks down to you, when somebody talks with aggression to you. If you return with aggression, you're go he's going to feel the same thing you're feeling, anger. And you did not achieve anything. All you did is make an enemy. Yeah, people say hurtful things to us, but are they your teacher? Are you supposed to reply like they are? It's understandable when we do that and we make that mistake, but over time we're supposed to improve. And this is a perfect time to try to improve in that. Give people a little bit of leeway and return their ignorant or mean speech with something kind and look, that you might actually open some eyes. If you return with anger and, and talking down to people, you're not going to open up any eyes. Also, in the 16th chapter of the Quran, verse 125, God says, Call to the way of your Lord with, with wisdom and goodly exhortation and have arguments with them in the best manner. Surely your Lord knows those who go astray from his path, and he knows best to those who, those who follow the right way. And also, in the 29th chapter of the Quran, verse 46, God says, And do not argue with the followers of the book, except by what is best, except of those of them who act unjustly, and say, We believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you, and our God and your God is one, and to him do we submit. These are the instructions from God. We don't get to talk how we want to talk. We have to do what God said. And this month is the month where we practice that and we put that, uh, we make that a part of our character. I'll finish with this. God says in the 31st chapter of the Quran, verse 19, And pursue the right course in your going about and lower your voice. Surely the ugliest of voices is braying of a donkey. Peace be with you.